government has imposed an immediate effect or with immediate effect in a bid to restore order. A curfew has been imposed throughout the West Territory for a renewable period of 72 hours. I received a bullet here and another a little higher up. I was hit yesterday at 9 p.m. I'm suffering. Oh. We were asleep when we heard the sound of bullets. The cell barriers are broken. I'm the only one left in my cell. The gang leader, known as Barbecue, has warned that the battle to oust Prime Minister Ariel Henry will continue. He heads an alliance of guns and faces sanctions from the United Nations and the U.S. The U.S. called for its citizens to leave Haiti as soon as possible, after 15,000 residents fled from their homes over the weekend. The U.S., which is home to over a million Haitians, said its embassy will be offering limited operations while Canada has temporarily shut its embassy. Violence in the Caribbean nation ramped up during Prime Minister Henry's visit to Kenya last week. Kenya and Haiti signed an agreement to send a thousand Kenyan police on a United Nations mission to the gang played nation. And in a massive upsurge in violence in Haiti, armed gangs attacked the region's largest prison triggering a breakout by several thousand inmates. The attack also claimed the life of at least a dozen people. The jailbreak marked a new low in Haiti's downward spiral of violence and came as gangs assert greater control in the capital, Port-au-Prince. However, it is unclear as to how many inmates were on the run. According to sources, it was likely an overwhelming majority. The gangs controlling much of the city have wreaked havoc since Thursday. This comes as a major gang leader seeking to ask Prime Minister Ariel Andre. Prime Minister Henry is abroad trying to salvage support for a United Nations-backed security force to stabilize the country. Haitian gang leader Jimmy Chazier, also known as Barbecue, warned on Friday that he would try to keep the Prime Minister out. And according to Jimmy, the reason behind ousting the Prime Minister is that Henry led the crisis racked Caribbean nation after the assassination of President Hovenel Moise in 2021. We asked the Haitian National Police and the military to take responsibility and arrest Ariel Henry. Once again, the population is not our enemy. The armed groups are not your enemy. You arrest Ariel Henry for the country's liberation. These weapons that we have are not here to hurt our brothers who come from the same milieu as us. The poor take the streets and they trust us. These weapons are our symbol of freedom. With these weapons, we will liberate the country. And these weapons will change the country. Since President Moise's assassination, there has been a surge in violence. According to the United Nations, in January, more than 8,400 people were the victims of gang violence, including killings, kidnappings and injuries, which is double the numbers seen in 2022. In a massive upsurge in violence in Haiti, armed gangs attacked the region's largest prison, triggering a breakout by several thousand inmates. The attack also claimed the life of at least a dozen people. The jailbreak marked a new low in Haiti's downward spiral of violence and came as gangs assert greater control in the capital of Port-au-Prince. However, it is unclear as to how many inmates were on the run. According to sources, it was likely an overwhelming majority. The gangs controlling much of the city have wreaked havoc since Thursday. This comes as a major gang leader is seeking to oust Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Prime Minister Henry is abroad trying to salvage support for a United Nations-backed security force to stabilize the country. Haitian's gang leader Jimmy Cherizia, also known as Barbecue, warned on Friday that he would keep trying to oust the Prime Minister. And according to Jimmy, the reason behind ousting the Prime Minister is that Henry led the crisis racked Caribbean nation after the assassination of President Hovenel Moise in 2021. We asked the Haitian National Police and the military to take responsibility and arrest Ariel Henry. Once again, the population is not our enemy. 
the armed groups are not your enemy. You arrest Ariel Henry for the country's liberation. These weapons that we have are not here to hurt our brothers who come from the same milieu as us. The poor take the streets and they trust us. These weapons are a symbol of freedom. With these weapons, we will liberate the country and these weapons will change the country. Since the president's assassination, there has been a surge in violence. According to the United Nations, in January, more than 8,400 people were the victims of gang violence, including killing, kidnappings and injuries, which is double the numbers seen in 2022. Now, in a massive upsurge in violence in Haiti, armed gangs attacked the region's largest prison, triggering a breakout by several thousand inmates. The attack also claimed the life of at least a dozen people. The jailbreak marked a new low in Haiti's downward spiral of violence and came as gangs assert greater control in the capital. However, it is unclear as to how many inmates were on the run. According to sources, it was likely an overwhelming majority. The gangs controlling much of the city wreaked havoc since Thursday. This comes as a major gang leader is seeking to ask Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Prime Minister Henry is abroad trying to salvage support for a United Nations-backed security force to stabilize the country. Haitian gang leader Jimmy Cherizier, also known as Barbecue, warned on Friday that he would keep trying to ask the Prime Minister. According to Jimmy, the reason behind ousting the Prime Minister is that Henry led the crisis streaked Caribbean nation after the assassination of President Hovenel Moise in 2021. We asked the Haitian National Police and the military to take responsibility and arrest Ariel Henry. Once again, the population is not our enemy. The armed groups are not your enemy. You arrest Ariel Henry for the country's liberation. These weapons that we have are not here to hurt our brothers who come from the same milieu as us. The poor take the streets and they trust us. These weapons are a symbol of freedom. With these weapons, we will liberate the country and these weapons will change the country. Since President Moise's assassination, there has seen, been a huge surge in violence. According to United Nations, in January, more than 8,400 people were the victims of gang violence, including killings, kidnappings and injuries, which is double the numbers seen in 2022. Ongoing gang violence have escalated tensions in the Caribbean nation of Haiti. Authorities have imposed a state of emergency in the face of unrest led by gang leader Jimmy Cherry Zier, also known as Barbecue. The gang leaders are calling for the dismissal of Prime Minister Ariel Henry. The capital city has been shut down with a president's with residents that is stepping out only for essentials. On Monday, armed gunmen tried to seize control over Haiti's main international airport in the capital, Port-au-Prince. Gunfire was exchanged with police in the latest attack on key government sites after the massive jailbreak. The attack on the airport is being considered as the biggest in Haiti's history. When the attack took place, the planes were not operating at the moment. However, the army has been deployed and they have been patrolling the premise. After violence escalated this week, the United States said that they are closely monitoring the situation. The State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said that the situation requires an urgency to finalize the multinational security support mission to assist the country's national police.
Let's now head to the Caribbean, where Haiti's government has declared a state of emergency after an attack to prisons which led to the jailbreak of thousands of inmates. This development comes as a gang leader named Barbecue has sought to oust Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Schools and banks have been shut in the Caribbean nation. The prison break comes in a new spate of extreme violence in the Haitian capital, Port-au-Prince, which is currently facing a communication blackout. The government has imposed an immediate effect, or with immediate effect, in a bid to restore order. A curfew has been imposed throughout the West Territory for a renewable period of 72 hours. I received a bullet here and another a little higher up. I was hit yesterday at 9 p.m. I'm suffering. Oh. We were asleep when we heard the sound of bullets. The cell barriers are broken. I'm the only one left in my cell. The gang leader, known as Barbecue, has warned that the battle to oust Prime Minister Ariel Henry will continue. He heads an alliance of gangs and faces sanctions from the United Nations and the U.S. The U.S. called for its citizens to leave Haiti as soon as possible, after 15,000 residents fled from their homes over the weekend. The U.S., which is home to over a million Haitians, said its embassy would be offering limited operations while Canada has temporarily shut its embassy. Violence in the Caribbean nation ramped up during Prime Minister Henry's visit to Kenya last week. Kenya and Haiti signed an agreement to send a thousand Kenyan police on a United Nations mission to the gang-played nation. And in a massive upsurge in violence in Haiti, armed gangs attacked the region's largest prison triggering a breakout by several thousand inmates. The attack also claimed the life of at least a dozen people. The jailbreak marked a new low in Haiti's downward spiral of violence and came as gangs assert greater control in the capital, Port-au-Prince. However, it is unclear as to how many inmates were on the run. According to sources, it was likely an overwhelming majority. The gangs controlling much of the city have wreaked havoc since Thursday. This comes as a major gang leader seeking to ask Prime Minister Arya Laundrie. Prime Minister Henry is abroad trying to salvage support for a United Nations-backed security force to stabilize the country. Haitian gang leader Jimmy Chazier, also known as Barbecue, warned on Friday that he would try to keep the Prime Minister out. And according to Jimmy, the reason behind ousting the Prime Minister is that Henry led the crisis... जो प्रदर्शनी है किस तरह से मेट्रो जो रेल है कोलकाता में मेट्रो जो रेल है कोलकाता में अंदर चलेगी पहली ऐसी मेट्रो के अंदर चलेगी और पहली ऐसी मेट्रो में ये प्रोजेक्ट और अपने आप में ये प्रोजेक्ट कितना चर्चित कर ज्यादा साथ चर्चित कितना के साथ अध्याय के साथ ठीक बंगाल को जोड़ेगा पूरी और व्यवस्था है जो पूरी वो किस तरह से किया है जो आयजा वो किस तरह से किया है बहुत जायजा है जब हम देख रहे हैं तो पूरे मेट्रो रेल के जब हम देख रहे हैं पहले चले मेट्रो रेल जो है कि इसके विस्तारी कर रखी है आधार पर अभी इसके विस्तारी कर रखी है वाले हैं अभी बंगाल का जब हम जिक्र करते हैं सार्थक उसकी तस्वीर हम सार्थक इन तस्वीर हम चेक्स के लिए देखेंगे मैं सिर्फ जानते हैं कि इसके जब हम क्रांत की बात करते हैं कि जब हम क्रांत की बात करते हैं तो पश्चिम बंगाल का नाम कलकत्ता में हैं पहली ट्राम चलाई गई थी पहली और ट्राम चलाई गई थी अंडर उगली और 
परिवहन के अलग अलग माध्यम है परिवहन के अलग अलग माध्यम है प्रधानमंत्री पहुँच गए हैं यहाँ पर प्रधानमंत्री पहुँच गए हैं यहाँ पर पंद्रह हजार With these weapons, we will liberate the country. With these weapons, we will change the country. Since President Moise's assassination, there has been a huge surge in violence in the United Nations. In January, eight thousand four hundred people were killed in gang violence, including killings, kidnappings, and injuries, which is double the number seen. भारतीय रेल में मेट्रो सेवाओं भारतीय रेल में मेट्रो सेवाओं के विकास में एक और महत्वपूर्ण कदम इस्लाम में एक और बहुत धन्यवाद सर बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद महाराष्ट्र के राष्ट्रीय बंगाल से महाराष्ट्र के केरल उत्तर प्रदेश से बिहार के के लोगों के क्रम में हमने आज उद्घाटन क्रम में मेरा आज रेल की परियोजनाओं के पूर्ण मेट्रो रेल की परियोजनाओं के लघु चलते के माध्यम से आप सभी के के माध्यम से आप सभी के अवलोकन हेतु प्रस्तुत On Monday, armed gunmen tried to seize control of the Houston International Airport in the capital of Ukraine. The guy was seized as well. The guy was attacked by the police. The guy was attacked by the police. The attack on the airport is being considered as the biggest in this history. And the attack took place as planned without operating at the moment. However, the army has been deployed to make a peaceful defense. The guys are speaking to speak to the United States who said that they will closely monitor the situation. The State Department's Minister Matthew Miller said that the situation requires an urgency 
to finalize the multinational security support mission to assist the country's national police. मोदी सरकार की गारंटी आधुनिक शहरी परिवहन के क्षेत्र में शहरी परिवहन के वर्षों में प्रधानमंत्री वर्षो नरेंद्र मोदी जी के लीडरशिप में मेट्रो रेल नेटवर्क के निर्माण में मेट्रो रेल नेटवर्क के निर्माण को तेज सुरक्षित यात्रा को आरामदायक बनाया है और आरामदायक बनाया है चौदह में जहाँ देश को चौदह में दो सौ अड़तालीस किलोमीटर मेट्रो का परिचालन इस किलोमीटर मेट्रो का परिचालन था शहरों में किया जा रहा था शहरों में देश किलोमीटर शहरों में मेट्रो की किलोमीटर से अधिक है मेट्रो की सेवाएं सत्ताईस शहरों में लगभग नौ सौ अठावन किलोमीटर मेट्रो रेल नेटवर्क का कार्य मेट्रो रेल होने का कार्य समाप्त होने को है कमलों द्वारा किया जा रहा है कमलों द्वारा किया जा रहा है कोशी मेट्रो प्रणाली है इसकी पेट्रोलिंग मेट्रो प्रणाली है और जल परिवहन सुविधा को जोड़ता है परिवहन सुविधा के परिवहन मेट्रो दर्शन है उत्तर प्रदेश के सबसे ज्यादा सेवा का विस्तार हुआ है अब आगरा में ताज ईस्ट गेट से मन कामेश्वर आगरा में ताज ईस्ट किलोमीटर लंबे किलोमीटर शुरू करके समय में शुरू करके मंत्री द्वारा आगरा में मेट्रो रेल सेवा का मंत्री द्वारा जा रहा है मेट्रो रेल सेवा का होने जा रहा है शुभारंभ देश में शुरुआत हुई एक नए अध्याय की दिल्ली गाजियाबाद मेरठ के बीच सत्रह किलोमीटर लंबे प्राथमिक खंड का उद्घाटन माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी द्वारा किया गया इसी कड़ी में आज दुहाई से मोदी नगर नॉर्थ के बीच का सत्रह किलोमीटर लंबा दूसरा खंड भी जुड़ने जा रहा है जिसके साथ साहिबाबाद से मोदी नगर नॉर्थ तक चौतीस किलोमीटर के खंड पर नमो भारत ट्रेनें दौड़ेंगी इस खंड का उद्घाटन आज माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी के द्वारा किया जा रहा है आज देश के शहरी परिवहन के क्षेत्र में प्रधानमंत्री जी द्वारा एक महत्वपूर्ण पहल की जा रही है जिसका उद्देश्य जनता को सर्वोत्तम सुविधाएं प्रदान करना है विकास सुंदर झलकियों के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद माननीय प्रधानमंत्री महोदय से साधारण अनुरोध कि भारतीय रेल के विकास की गति को शक्ति देने हेतु कभी सुभाष तारा ताला रूबी हाल क्लिनिक एस एन जंक्शन दुहाई एवं ताजमहल गेट से छह नई मेट्रो सेवाओं को हरी झंडी दिखाकर उनकी प्रथम यात्रा का शुभारंभ करें the prime minister out and according to jimmy the reason behind ousting the prime minister is that andre led the crisis right 
आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री महोदय द्वारा हरी झंडी दिखाते ही ट्रेन अपनी प्रथम यात्रा पर रवाना कवि सुभाष से हेमंत उपाध्याय तारा ताला माजर हाट रूबी हॉल क्लिनिक से रामबाड़ी एस एन जंक्शन से त्रिपुनेपुरा नॉट हियर टू हर्ट गोहाई से मोदी नगर नॉर्थ ताज पूर्वी गेट से मन कामेश्वर मंदिर These weapons are a symbol of freedom. भारत की प्रगति की दिशा में एक अविस्मरणीय कदम और इस क्षण के साक्षी बनते हुए हम सभी change the country. आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री महोदय का बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री महोदय से साधन निवेदन करता हूं कि वे एस प्लानेट स्टेशन से पहली अंडर वाटर मेट्रो ट्रेन में बच्चों के साथ यात्रा कर इस ट्रेन की प्रथम तो जिस तरह से प्रधानमंत्री पश्चिम बंगाल के दौरे पर हैं कोलकाता में यहाँ पर प्रधानमंत्री ने जो पीएम पुणे मेट्रो रेल का जो परियोजना है उसके ट्रिगरिंग अ ब्रेकआउट बाय सेवेंटी थाउजेंड इनमेट्स The attack also claimed the life of at least a dozen people. The jailbreak marked a new low in Haiti's downward spiral of violence and came as gangs assert greater control in the capital of Port-au-Prince. However, it is unclear as to how many inmates were on the run. According to sources, it was likely an overwhelming majority. The gangs controlling much of the city have wreaked havoc since Thursday. This comes as a major gang leader is seeking to oust Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Prime Minister Henry is abroad trying to salvage support for a United Nations-backed security force to stabilize the country. Haitian's gang leader Jimmy Cherizier, also known as Barbecue, warned on Friday that he would keep trying to oust the Prime Minister. And according to Jimmy, the reason behind ousting the Prime Minister is that Henry led the crisis racked Caribbean nation after the assassination of President Hovenel Moise in 2021. We ask the Haitian National Police and the military to take responsibility and arrest Ariel Henry. Once again, the population is not our enemy. The armed groups are not your enemy. You arrest Ariel Henry for the country's liberation. These weapons that we have are not here to hurt our brothers who come from the same milieu as us. The poor take the streets and they trust us. These weapons are a symbol of freedom. With these weapons, we will liberate the country. and these weapons will change the country since the president's assassination there has been a surge in violence according to the united nations in january more than 8400 people were the victims of gang violence including killing kidnappings and injuries which is double the numbers seen in 2022 Now, a massive upsurge in violence in Haiti. Armed gangs attacked the region's largest prison, triggering a breakout by several thousand inmates. The attack also claimed the life of at least a dozen people. The jailbreak marked a new low in Haiti's downward spiral of violence and came as gangs assert greater control in the capital. However, it is unclear as to how many inmates were on the run. According to sources, it was likely an overwhelming majority. The gangs controlling much of the city wreaked havoc since Thursday. This comes as a major gang leader is seeking to ask Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Prime Minister Henry is abroad trying to salvage support for a United Nations-backed security force to stabilize the country. Haitian gang leader Jimmy Cherizier, also known as Barbecue, warned on Friday that he would keep trying to ask the Prime Minister. According to Jimmy, the reason behind ousting the Prime Minister is that Henry led the crisis wrecked Caribbean nation after the assassination of President Hovenel Moise in 2021. We ask the Haitian National Police and the military to take responsibility and arrest Ariel Henry. Once again, the population is not our enemy. The armed groups are not your enemy. You arrest Ariel Henry for the country's liberation. These weapons that we have are not here to hurt our brothers who come from the same milieu as us. The poor take the streets and they trust us. These weapons are a symbol of freedom. With these weapons, we will liberate the country. and these weapons will change the country since president moise's assassination there has seen been a huge surge in violence according to united nations in january more than 8400 people were the victims of gang violence including killings kidnappings and injuries which is double the numbers seen 
in 2022. Ongoing gang violence has escalated tensions in the Caribbean nation of Haiti. Authorities have imposed a state of emergency in the face of unrest led by gang leader Jimmy Cherry Zier, also known as Barbecue. The gang leaders are calling for the dismissal of Prime Minister Ariel Henry. The capital city has been shut down with a president's with residents that is stepping out only for essentials. (laughs) On Monday, armed gunmen tried to seize control over Haiti's main international airport in the capital, Port-au-Prince. Gunfire was exchanged with police and the latest attack on key government sites after the massive jailbreak. The attack on the airport is being considered as the biggest in Haiti's history. When the attack took place, the planes were not operating at the moment. However, the army has been deployed and they have been patrolling the premise. After violence escalated this week, the United States said that they are closely monitoring the situation The State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said that the situation requires an urgency to uh, finalize the multinational security support mission to assist the country's national police. Let's now head to the Caribbean, where Haiti's government has declared a state of emergency after an attack to prisons which led to the jailbreak of thousands of inmates. This development comes as gang leader named Barbecue has sought to oust Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Schools and banks have been shut in the Caribbean nation. The prison break comes in a new spate of extreme violence in the Haitian capital, Port-au-Prince, which is currently facing a communication blackout. The government has imposed an immediate effect or with immediate effect in a bid to restore order. A curfew has been imposed throughout the West Territory for a renewable period of 72 hours. I received a bullet here and another a little higher up. I was hit yesterday at 9 p.m. I'm suffering. We were asleep when we heard the sound of bullets. The cell barriers are broken. I'm the only one left in my cell. The gang leader, known as Barbecue, has warned that the battle to oust Prime Minister Ariel Henry will continue. He heads an alliance of gangs and faces sanctions from the United Nations and the U.S. The U.S. called for its citizens to leave Haiti as soon as possible after 15,000 residents fled from their homes over the weekend. The U.S., which is home to over a million Haitians, 
said its embassy will be offering limited operations while Canada has temporarily shut its embassy. Violence in the Caribbean nation ramped up during Prime Minister Henry's visit to Kenya last week. Kenya and Haiti signed an agreement to send a thousand Kenyan police on a United Nations mission to the gang-played nation. And in a massive upsurge in violence in Haiti, armed gangs attacked the region's largest prison, triggering a breakout by several thousand inmates. The attack also claimed the life of at least a dozen people. The jailbreak marked a new low in Haiti's downward spiral of violence and came as gangs assert greater control in the capital, Port-au-Prince. However, it is unclear as to how many inmates were on the run. According to sources, it was likely an overwhelming majority. The gangs controlling much of the city have wreaked havoc since Thursday. This comes as a major gang leader seeking to ask Prime Minister Ariel Andre. Prime Minister Andre is abroad trying to salvage support for a United Nations-backed security force to stabilize. Haitian gang leader Jimmy uh, Chazier, also known as Babu Tu, on Friday, metro that he would rail hai, Kolkata mein, wo पानी के अंदर चलेगी पहली ऐसी मेट्रो रेल और अपने आप में ये प्रोजेक्ट कितना ज्यादा आज चर्चित करने के साथ साथ कितना आर्थिक अध्याय के साथ बंगाल को जोड़ेगा उस लिहाज से भी ये बेहद अहम है तो पहली अंडर वाटर मेट्रो का जायजा जिस तरह से अभी हमारे संवाददाता ने लिया किस तरह से इसे बनाने में और इसकी जो पूरी व्यवस्था है वो किस तरह से किए इसका जायजा प्रधानमंत्री ने वहां पर लिया है जब हम देख रहे हैं तो पूरे मेट्रो रेल परियोजना के पहले चरण जो है उसके विस्तारीकरण की आधारशिला भी प्रधानमंत्री रखने वाले हैं और ये जो अंडर वाटर मेट्रो रेल है ये किस तरह से निकले कितने इसके गंतव्य स्टेशन होने वाले हैं कितने टाइम ये वहाँ रुकेगी इस तमाम बातों का जायजा लेते हुए प्रधानमंत्री तो विकसित भारत के साथ साथ विकसित पश्चिम बंगाल का जब हम जिक्र करते हैं उसकी एक सार्थक तस्वीर हम इन मेट्रो प्रोजेक्ट्स के जरिए देखेंगे जैसे कि हम जानते हैं कि जब हम ट्रैम की बात करते हैं तो पश्चिम बंगाल का नाम हम सभी जानते हैं कलकत्ता में पहली ट्राम चलाई गई थी और अब जब अंडर उगली वाटर टनल में जिस तरह से इस अंडर वाटर मेट्रो को चलाया जाएगा तो जब हम इंजीनियरिंग के नमूने की बात करते हैं उस लिहाज से भी ये मेट्रो रेल अपने आप में अनूठी और विहंगम दृश्य दिखाएगी आप देखिए कि कनेक्टिविटी के लिहाज से कितना अहम ये हो जाएगा कि जिस जगह पर पहुंचने के लिए आपको बहुत समय लगता है उस लिहाज से आप क्या समय बचेगा सुविधा होगी किफायत के लिहाज से आप देखें कि ये जो सफर है वो कितना ज्यादा कम समय में आप कर पाएंगे और मेट्रो की जो सफलता है उसका अंदाजा तो हम लगा ही सकते हैं तमाम जो दिल्ली बात से है रोड पर मेट्रो चलती है कितना ज्यादा पर्यावरण के वो अनुकूल है आपका समय बचाती है और साथ ही साथ जब हम किसी भी राज्य की प्रगति की बात करते हैं उसकी प्रगति जो तमाम ये जो कनेक्टिविटी से जुड़े हुए परिवहन के अलग अलग माध्यम है उनसे जुड़ी हुई है तो ये कनेक्टिव प्रधानमंत्री पहुंच गए हैं यहाँ पर पंद्रह हजार करोड़ रुपए से अधिक की मेट्रो परियोजनाओं के उद्घाटन शिलान्यास के लिए उनके स्नेह उनकी कृपा और उनकी गर्मा मई उपस्थिति के लिए इस पुनीत अवसर पर हमारे मध्य उपस्थित हैं पश्चिम बंगाल के राज्यपाल आदरणीय डॉक्टर सी वी आनंदा बोस मान्य का हार्दिक अभिनंदन पॉपुलेशन इस मान्य श्री सुबेन्दु अधिकारी नेता विपक्ष पश्चिम बंगाल मान्य सांसद महोदय श्री सुकांतो मजूमदार आपकी उपस्थिति का हृदय से बहुत बहुत स्वागत आज का यह पल एक ऐतिहासिक पल अतिथि देवो भक्ति परंपरा का निर्वहन करते हुए मैं माननीय श्री सुबेन्दु अधिकारी जी से आग्रह करूंगा वो आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री महोदय का उत्तरीय और माँ गंगा की पावन माटी से स्वागत करें जनवरी मोर देन एट थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड पीपल वर दिक्टम्स ऑफ गैंग वायलेंस इंक्लूडिंग किलिंग किडनेपिंग एंड इंजुरीज विच इज डबल द नंबर सीन इन ट्वेंटी पारंपरिक और जीवन दायनी माँ गंगा की माटी शुभ का प्रतीक जो इस अंडर वाटर टनल के निर्माण के दौरान नीचे से ली गई पुनः इस क्रम में मेहमानीय 
अधिकारी जी से सबने आग्रह करता हूँ की वे आज लोकार्पित होने वाली अंडर वाटर मेट्रो टनल के मॉडल को एक स्मृति चिन्ह स्वरूप प्रदान कर आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री महोदय का अभिनंदन करें ये आधुनिक तकनीक और विकास को प्रतिबंधित करती हुई ये प्रकृति बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद सर देश के विकास की गौरवशाली यात्रा में एक और According to Jimmy, the reason behind ousting the Prime Minister is that Andrei led the crisis streaked Caribbean nation after the assassination of President Hovenel Moise in 2021. We ask the Haitian National Police and the military to take responsibility and arrest Ariel Henry. Once again, the population is not our enemy. The armed groups are not your enemy. You arrest Ariel Henry for the country's liberation. These weapons that we have are not here to hurt our brothers who come from the same milieu as us. The poor take the streets and they trust us. These weapons are our symbol of freedom. With these weapons, we will liberate the country. and these weapons will change the country since president moise's assassination there has seen been a huge surge in violence according to united nations in january more than 8400 people were the victims of gang violence including killings kidnappings and injuries which is double the numbers seen in 2022 Ongoing gang violence have escalated tensions in the Caribbean nation of Haiti. Authorities have imposed a state of emergency in the face of unrest led by gang leader Jimmy Cherry Zier, also known as Barbecue. The gang leaders are calling for the dismissal of Prime Minister Ariel Henry. The capital city has been shut down with a president's with residents that is stepping out only for essentials. On Monday, armed gunmen tried to seize control over Haiti's main international airport in the capital, Port-au-Prince. Gunfire was exchanged with police in the latest attack on key government sites after the massive jailbreak. The attack on the airport is being considered as the biggest in Haiti's history. When the attack took place, the planes were not operating at the moment. However, the army has been deployed. and they have been patrolling the premise after violence escalated this week the united states said that they are closely monitoring the situation the state department spokesperson matthew miller said that the situation requires an urgency to uh, finalize the multinational security support mission to assist the country's national police one phone call uh, on the two occasions when <laughs>
Let's now head to the Caribbean, where Haiti's government has declared a state of emergency after an attack to prisons which led to the jailbreak of thousands of inmates. This development comes as gang leader named Barbecue has sought to oust Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Schools and banks have been shut in the Caribbean nation. The prison break comes in a new spate of extreme violence in the Haitian capital, Port-au-Prince, which is currently facing a communication blackout. The government has imposed an immediate effect, or with immediate effect, in a bid to restore order. A curfew has been imposed throughout the West Territory for a renewable period of 72 hours. I received a bullet here and another a little higher up. I was hit yesterday at 9 p.m. I'm suffering. We were asleep when we heard the sound of bullets. The cell barriers are broken. I'm the only one left in my cell. The gang leader, known as Barbecue, has warned that the battle to oust Prime Minister Ariel Henry will continue. He heads an alliance of guns and faces sanctions from the United Nations and the U.S. The U.S. called for its citizens to leave Haiti as soon as possible, after 15,000 residents fled from their homes over the weekend. The U.S., which is home to over a million Haitians, said its embassy will be offering limited operations while Canada has temporarily shut its embassy. Violence in the Caribbean nation ramped up during Prime Minister Henry's visit to Kenya last week. Kenya and Haiti signed an agreement to send a thousand Kenyan police on a United Nations mission to the gang played nation. And in a massive upsurge in violence in Haiti, armed gangs attacked the region's largest prison triggering a breakout by several thousand inmates. The attack also claimed the life of at least a dozen people. The jailbreak marked a new low in Haiti's downward spiral of violence and came as gangs assert greater control in the capital, Port-au-Prince. However, it is unclear as to how many inmates were on the run. According to sources, it was likely an overwhelming majority. The gangs controlling much of the city have wreaked havoc since Thursday. This comes as a major gang leader seeking to ask Prime Minister Ariel Andre. Prime Minister Henry is abroad trying to salvage support for a United Nations-backed security force to stabilize the country. Haitian gang leader Jimmy Chazier, also known as Barbecue, warned on Friday that he would try to keep the Prime Minister out. And according to Jimmy, the reason behind ousting the Prime Minister is that Henry led the crisis racked Caribbean nation after the assassination of President Jovenel Moise in 2021. We asked the Haitian National Police and the military to take responsibility and arrest Ariel Henry. Once again, the population is not our enemy. The armed groups are not your enemy. You arrest Ariel Henry for the country's liberation. These weapons that we have are not here to hurt our brothers who come from the same milieu as us. The poor take the streets and they trust us. These weapons are our symbol of freedom. With these weapons, we will liberate the country. And these weapons will change the country. Since President Moise's assassination, there has been a surge in violence. According to the United Nations, in January, more than 8,400 people were the victims of gang violence, including killings, kidnappings and injuries, which is double the numbers seen in 2022. In a massive upsurge in violence in Haiti, armed gangs attacked the region's largest prison, triggering a breakout by several thousand inmates. The attack also claimed the life of at least a dozen people. The jailbreak marked a new low in Haiti's downward spiral of violence and came as gangs assert greater control in the capital of Port-au-Prince. However, it is unclear as to how many inmates were on the run. According to sources, it was likely an overwhelming majority. The gangs controlling much of the city have wreaked havoc since Thursday. This comes as a major gang leader is seeking to oust Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Prime Minister Henry is abroad trying to salvage support for a United Nations-backed security force to stabilize the country. 
Haitian's gang leader Jimmy Cherizia, also known as Barbecue, warned on Friday that he would keep trying to oust the Prime Minister. And according to Jimmy, the reason behind ousting the Prime Minister is that Henry led the crisis racked Caribbean nation after the assassination of President Hovenel Moise in 2021. We ask the Haitian National Police and the military to take responsibility and arrest Ariel Henry. Once again, the population is not our enemy. The armed groups are not your enemy. You arrest Ariel Henry for the country's liberation. These weapons that we have are not here to hurt our brothers who come from the same milieu as us. The poor take the streets and they trust us. These weapons are a symbol of freedom. With these weapons, we will liberate the country and these weapons will change the country. Since the president's assassination, there has been a surge in violence. According to the United Nations, in January, more than 8,400 people were the victims of gang violence, including killing, kidnappings and injuries, which is double the numbers seen in 2022. Now, in a massive upsurge in violence in Haiti, armed gangs attacked the region's largest prison, triggering a breakout by several thousand inmates. The attack also claimed the life of at least a dozen people. The jailbreak marked a new low in Haiti's downward spiral of violence and came as gangs assert greater control in the capital. However, it is unclear as to how many inmates were on the run. According to sources, it was likely an overwhelming majority. The gangs controlling much of the city wreaked havoc since Thursday. This comes as a major gang leader is seeking to ask Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Prime Minister Henry is abroad trying to salvage support for a United Nations-backed security force to stabilize the country. Haitian gang leader Jimmy Cherizier, also known as Barbecue, warned on Friday that he would keep trying to ask the Prime Minister. According to Jimmy, the reason behind ousting the Prime Minister is that Henry led the crisis streaked Caribbean nation after the assassination of President Hovenel Moise in 2021. We asked the Haitian National Police and the military to take responsibility and arrest Ariel Henry. Once again, the population is not our enemy. The armed groups are not your enemy. You arrest Ariel Henry for the country's liberation. These weapons that we have are not here to hurt our brothers who come from the same milieu as us. The poor take the streets and they trust us. These weapons are a symbol of freedom. With these weapons, we will liberate the country. And these weapons will change the country. Since President Moise's assassination, there has seen, been a huge surge in violence. According to United Nations, in January, more than 8,400 people were the victims of gang violence, including killings, kidnappings and injuries, which is double the numbers seen in 2022. Ongoing gang violence have escalated tensions in the Caribbean nation of Haiti. Authorities have imposed a state of emergency in the face of unrest led by gang leader Jimmy Cherry Zier, also known as Barbecue. The gang leaders are calling for the dismissal of Prime Minister Ariel Henry. The capital city has been shut down with a president's with residents that is stepping out only for essentials. On Monday, armed gunmen tried to seize control over Haiti's main international airport in the capital, Port-au-Prince. Gunfire was exchanged with police in the latest attack on key government sites after the massive jailbreak. The attack on the airport is being considered as the biggest in Haiti's history. When the attack took place, the planes were not operating at the moment. However, the army has been deployed and they have been patrolling the premise. After violence escalated this week, the United States said that they are closely monitoring the situation. The State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said that the situation requires an urgency to finalize the multinational security support mission to assist the country's national police.
The sound head to the Caribbean, Caribbean, where Haiti's government has declared a state of emergency and after an attack to prisons which led to the jailbreak of thousands of inmates. This development comes as gang leader named Barbecue has sought to oust Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Schools and banks have been shot in the Caribbean nation. The prison break comes in a new spate of extreme violence in the Haitian capital, Port-au-Prince, which is currently facing a communication blackout. The government has imposed an immediate effect, or with immediate effect, in a bid to restore order. A coffee has been imposed throughout the West Territory for a renewable period of 72 hours. I received a bullet here and another a little higher up. I was hit yesterday at 9 p.m. I'm suffering. We were asleep when we heard the sound of bullets. The cell values are broken. I'm the only one left in the gang leader, known as Barbecue, has warned that the battle to oust Prime Minister Ariel Henry will continue. He heads an alliance of gangs and faces sanctions from the United Nations and the U.S. The U.S. called for its citizens to leave Haiti as soon as possible after 15,000 residents fled from their homes over the weekend. By the Philippines the US, which is regarding the RP Sherma Madre, said its embassy will be offering limited operations while Canada has temporarily shut its embassy. Of credible evidence and has Violence been debunked a million times. In Filipino, during Prime we Minister refer to Henry's this visit to Kenya last year. Kenya and Haiti signed an agreement to send a thousand Kenyan police. The Chinese Coast Guard referred to its actions as reasonable, legal, and professional. They also claimed that a Philippine Coast Guard vessel, and I quote, deliberately crashed into the normal law enforcement of the Chinese Coast Guard boat 2155 coming from third party and independent members of the domestic and international media, including footages which will be shared to you today by the Philippine Navy and the Philippine Coast Guard. The Chinese Coast Guard conducted provocative, unilateral, illegal, and unprofessional acts that is conduct and becoming of a Coast Guard officer and is a stain on the Coast Guard uniform we proudly wear. We hold the Chinese Coast Guard responsible for their actions. The, poor take the, the Chinese Coast Guard further claims these that the Philippines is, and I quote, with these untrustful, weapons, we will deliberately stirring up and trouble and maliciously inciting hype. Let the me ask them this question. Who is executing the, the blocking January, and dangerous the maneuvers? The Who is deploying water cannons against an armed ship? Is hurting or causing injury to Filipino personnel, professional, and legitimate? 
who is deliberately blocking our ships in waters toward the Philippines, exercises sovereign rights and jurisdiction under international law. Is it the Philippines? No, it is China. It is a China that is deliberately setting up trouble and maliciously inciting hype and not the Philippines. However, it is we wish to remind the Chinese Coast Guard the that when it points a finger at others, there are three other fingers pointing back at them. This comes I remember an old proverb that, that, that states, before you start Prime pointing fingers, make sure your hands are clean. The Philippines, for its part, continues to act peacefully and responsibly, consistent with international law, particularly UNCLOS and the legally binding 2016 Arbitral Award. And of course, Peace and stability cannot be achieved without due regard for the legitimate the when established and legally settled rights of others. Of if the hope of China Hovenel is to Moise weaken the Philippine resolve, they will be sorely disappointed because we, we will never be deterred from exercising our legal rights over our maritime zone, including a union show, the population is which not forms our part enemy. of our EEC and continental shell. You arrest Ariel Henry for the country's During liberation. During the Chinese New Year last month, that we have are China not here to hurt our brothers that the who come from the same milieu as China. us. The to poor steer the right course and, and bring us. back bilateral these weapons relations are a on the right of freedom. track With as these soon weapons, as possible. We will liberate the country and, also and hold these on weapons the Philippines will change to the country. China halfway and manage maritime disputes properly through dialogue and consultation. In response, we also share China's aspirations, but we demand that they match their words with action. In order to manage the maritime disputes properly, they must first stop their harassment and bullying of legitimate Philippine operations. That is the primary reason for the increase of tensions in the West Philippines. They must stop hurting our Filipino personnel who are just However, doing their jobs in accordance with international law, without which their call for resolving the maritime differences properly will amount to nothing but empty words and unfulfilled promises. The South China Sea is wide enough for both our nations to peacefully coexist as we have done for centuries. As President Ferdinand Marcos has said, and I quote, the foundation of strong bilateral relations with China is mutual respect, cooperation, and mutual benefit. Maraming salamat. the Haitian National Police and the military to take responsibility and arrest Next Ariel Henry. Once again, the population is not our enemy. Our groups are not your enemy. We arrest Ariel Henry for the country's liberation. These weapons that we have are not here to hurt our brothers who come from the same milieu as us. The poor take the streets and they trust us. These weapons are our symbol of freedom. With these weapons, we will liberate the country and these weapons will change the country. Since President Moise's assassination, there has seen, been a huge surge in violence. According to United Nations, in January, more than 8,400 people were the victims of gang violence, including killings, kidnappings and injuries, which is double the numbers seen in 2022. Ongoing gang violence have escalated tensions in the Caribbean nation of Haiti. Authorities have imposed a state of emergency in the face of unrest led by gang leader Jimmy Cherry Zier, also known as Barbecue. The gang leaders are calling for the dismissal of Prime Minister Ariel Henry. The capital city has been shut down with a president's with residents that is stepping out only for essentials. On Monday, armed gunmen tried to seize control over Haiti's main international airport in the capital, Port-au-Prince. Gunfire was exchanged with police. 
and the latest attack on key government sites after the massive jailbreak. The attack on the airport is being considered as the biggest in Haiti's history. When the attack took place, the planes were not operating at the moment. However, the army has been deployed and they have been patrolling the premise. After violence escalated this week, the United States said that they are closely monitoring the situation. The State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said that the situation requires an urgency to finalize the multinational security support mission to assist the country's national police. This is our this, this is the statement of the AFP from the words of our chief of staff, General Romeo S. Brown Jr. The armed forces of the Philippines strongly condemns the China Coast Guards and the Chinese maritime militia's latest excessive and unlawful actions against Philippine vessels conducting our take note routine rotation and resupply mission of our troops in BRP Sierra Madre at Ayungin Shoal on March 5. We call on the China Coast Guard to act with prudence and be responsible in their actions to prevent miscalculations and accidents that will endanger our people's lives. The AFP commits to sustaining our military forces deployed in the West Philippine Sea and maintaining the Philippine presence in our exclusive economic zone. We'd like to give you um, the details in terms of the Aurora mission. For our primary vessels, we have Onaiza May 1, Onaiza May 4, and for our supporting vessels, we have the BRP Gregorio del Pinar, PS15, BRP Ramon Alcaraz, PS16, BRP Sindangan, MRRV4407, and BRP Cabra, MRRV4409. In terms of the Chinese monitored vessels, we have from the PLA Navy, three vessels, we bow number 648, 172, and 530 respectively. From the, the South Head to the Guard, Caribbean, where five, Haiti's government has declared a state of emergency after an attack to prisons which led to the jailbreak of thousands of inmates. This development comes as gang leader and named the Barbecue has sought to the oust Prime Minister vessels, Abel Henry. We have monitored Schools and banks have been shot in We'd the Caribbean like nation. The prison the break comes of in a new spate of extreme violence in the Haitian capital, Port-au-Prince which is currently facing For, a communication in terms of the blackout. significant events or the incidents the during the Royal Mission at LSU 87 in Ayungin Shoal from the period 4 to 6 March 2024. Order. A from on 04 March 2024 on Monday, at 0410, the UM1 and UM4 departed I received from, a bullet uh, here station. and another and little on higher up. March I was at least there at 9 p.m. I'm at 0836, there were several radio we challenges from the Chinese Coast Guard that occurred. The cell barriers of the cell barrier was I'm the only the one left in my cell. Of our end, from our end, from BRP Cabra, was the to China leader, Coast Guard. Known as barbecue, this is as warned PSG that the vessel to ask BRP Prime Minister Cabra Henry 4409. Conducting the heads of the lines of guns and faces sanctions from the United Philippine Nations exclusive and the US. economic zone. We the are U.S. called for its to citizens to leave Haiti as soon as possible to our after 15,000 residents to fled from their homes over the weekend. And at 5.48, the U.S., which is home to over a million Haitians, said its embassy would be offering Chinese limited operations while Canada supporting. has temporarily shut its embassy. On 0 05 March, Violence still, in the Caribbean at nation, Chinese Coast Guard 5201, Chinese Henry's Coast Guard 21551, Kenya and Haiti they signed an agreement to send water a thousand on Kenyan police M4 on a United and Nations four mission personnel to the gang played from nation. our end incurred minor injuries. At 8.23, the UM-1 successfully crossed the enemy entrance. And then 840, MRRV 4407 provided medical assistance to the injured personnel as stated. At 842, dozen people. The, the UM-1 safely arrived and moored at starboard side of LS-57. At 9.36 hotel, UM-4 and BRP Sindangan, MRRB-4407, in convoy, departed 
towards the where the princesses of the city have been tavits in 1056 this gun was one the party and the seven and the prime minister are along with them Prime Minister Henry is abroad trying to salvage yes, sir, both the United Nations of Bank Security the Force to stabilize the, the country. Actual photos during Haitian the blockade and the dangerous maneuver executed by multiple Chinese vessels, Friday, including two Chinese Coast Guards, BN-21551 and BN-3305, towards to UN4. So note how Minister they have encircled our vessels. This is another photo. The actual photos during the blocking and dangerous maneuver executed by multiple Chinese vessels, including two CCGs, BN-21551 and BN-3305 towards UN4. So as you can see, their maneuvers are circling our vessels for you. These weapons this is that we also have the actual photo of the water cannon the incident. The actual the photos of two Chinese Coast Guards, BN 5201 and BN 21551, which doused their water cannon and near collision against UN4. This is another photo of an eye of the war in the middle and a Philippine Coast Guard vessel at the right as they are being blocked by Chinese Coast Guard and maritime militia vessels during its rotation and reprovisioning mission to BRP Sierra Madrid LS-57 at the Yungi Shoal on March 5. And a massive upsurge in violence in this is the actual photo of two Chinese Coast Guards, BN-5201 and BN-21551 who doused their water cannon on near collision against the UN4. So nakita po natin, no, sobrang lapit na po ito. So you can just imagine how much pressure was really given to our vessel. However, it is unclear as to how many a Chinese coastal vessel deployed at around 8:15 a.m. and its water cannon on a 9 of May 4. The gang's during its rotation and provision mission to be here in Sierra Madre. This comes as a major gang leader is seeking to oust Prime Minister Ariel Henry. This is a video which shows our personnel with our own support for a United Nations-backed security force to stabilize the water cannon at around 8:15 a.m. during the rotation and provision. Also known as Bobby. Warned on Friday that he would keep trying to outstrip so the Prime Minister how and our windshield broke Jimmy, the reason with the pressure of their water cannon. Is that Henry led the crisis racked Caribbean nation after the assassination of President Hovenel Mois in 2021. So, makita niyo po, no, kumasok po yung water and it's also and the uh, damaged to take CCTV cameras and inside our vessel. Henry. Once again, the population is not our enemy. The armed groups this are not your enemy. This is the photo that shows the extent the of the damage. Henry so this is the broken liberation. glass that's shown. These uh, weapons that we have are not here vessels, to hurt our uh, brothers who come from the same milieu as us. The poor take the, the, the streets mission. and they trust us. These weapons are a symbol of freedom. With Again, these weapons, um, we the will liberate the country. That it's not and just our windshield that was damaged. The there are also certain damages that were involved by the vessel. There's a stained damage of UN4 due to the water pressure exerted by the water cannon from CCG 2551 and CCG 5201. So, two of them are water cannon in our vessel. And a massive upsurge in violence in Haiti. This is another video that shows personal on board on Nice May 4 when a Chinese Coast Guard vessel deployed its water cannon at around 8.15 a.m. The jailbreak so you know, how much pressure was really incurred by our vessel. So However, they very it is unclear as to how many inmates were on the run. According to sources, it was likely an overwhelming majority. The gangs controlling much of the city wreaked havoc since Thursday. This comes as a major gang leader is seeking to ask Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Prime Minister Henry is abroad. And this is another video that shows how the United two Nations Chinese Coast Guard vessels simultaneously sprayed water cannons to so Eliza May 4. Asian gang leader Jimmy Ferrezier, also known as Barbecue, warned on Friday that he would so keep trying to ask the Prime Minister on both ends. According to Jimmy, the reason why asking the Prime Minister is that Henry led the crisis the Caribbean nation after the assassination of President Moïse in 2021. National police and the military to take responsibility and arrest. So that's about it for our updates in the terms of the armed forces is of the not our enemy. The armed Salam. groups are not your enemy. You arrest Ariel Henry for the country's liberation. 
These weapons Next, we'll read a presentation from the spokesperson of, who come from the, same from the Philippine Coast Guard, the Coast Guard Commander J. Tishnan These weapons are a symbol of freedom. With these weapons, we will liberate the country and these weapons will change the country. Since President Moise's assassination, there has seen, been a huge surge in violence. According to United Nations, in January, more than 8,400 people were the victims of gang violence, including killings, kidnappings and injuries, which is double the numbers seen in 2022. Ongoing gang violence have escalated tensions in the Caribbean nation of Haiti. Authorities have imposed a state of emergency in the face of unrest led by gang leader Jimmy Cherry Zier, also known as Barbecue. The gang leaders are calling for the dismissal of Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Capital city has been shut down with a president, with residents that is stepping out only for essentials. I'd like to thank our media friends for um, attending this press conference um, to proceed with my uh, presentation. I'd like to highlight the, the um, role of the Philippine Coast Guard in this uh, resupply mission. On Monday, armed gunmen tried to seize control over Haiti's main international the airport in the is capital port of Prince. Uh, for the armed forces was exchanged of the with police. In short, it's a military operation. Our role is only after to support the jail uh, those um, supply boats that they're using to conduct the resupply operation. The attack on the airport is being considered as the biggest in the history. The Philippine Coast Guard we deployed the two Coast Guard the vessels were not operating at the moment. BRP Sintangan, MRB 4407, BRP Kaba, MRV 4409, and then their supply the boats that they are um, passed to escort are Oniza Bay 1 and Oniza Bay 4. Person, Matthew Miller said that the situation requires an urgency to Just uh, finalize to give an the idea of um, security support mission the operational area of this supply operation. Police. The Philippine Coast Guard vessels came from Buliluyan Port. That's Point C. That's the southernmost part of Palau. And then the um, supply boats it came from uh, Ulugan Bay. So the concept of operation is that the Philippine Coast Guard vessel and Oniza May will um, rendezvous at point B, which is uh, Sabina Shoal. From Sabina Shoal, with a total distance of around 40 nautical miles, we're going to sail go going uh, west to um, Ayungin Shoal. Third vessels uh, departed uh, last March 4, 12:40 uh, p.m., um, hoping that uh, the following day we can be able to have um, to rendezvous the Oniza May in uh, Sabina Shoal. On our way, going to um, Sabina Shoal, the Philippine Coast Guard vessel was able to um, monitor the presence of a PLA Navy helicopter with a tail number 36. It is important for us to note that this. Helicopter are also those helicopters that we see in Bajo de Masimlo whenever we patrol that area. So we know for a fact that this is a PLA Navy helicopter. The Philippine Coast Guard vessels and the um, uh, resupply boats arrive at Yungin Show around uh, 2 a.m. and then slowly we went um, to sail moving towards Ayungin. As early as 3 a.m., unfortunately, we don't have photos and images to um, show you. But this as early as 3 a.m., the, the Chinese Coast Guard government has declared a state of emergency after an the entire supply contingent, which led to the jail break and, uh, of by thousands of is the this only development photo comes that we have during that time, wherein Barbecue, the Chinese Coast Guard vessel 21551 and the Chinese maritime militia have been shot um, in the Caribbean supported nation. each other to prevent the prison break from advancing, a state of extreme towards violence towards in the Haitian capital, port au -Prance which is currently facing a communication blackout. At 5.40 in the morning, the government has we also monitored an another Chinese Coast Guard vessel, uh, China Coast Guard vessel 3305 order. A and coffee has been imposed five. throughout the West Territory for a renewable They are shadowing MRB 4409 from a certain I received a bullet here and another a little higher up. I was hit yesterday at 9 p.m. I'm suffering. Oh. We were asleep when we heard the sound at of the bullets. In the morning, the cell barriers are broken. I'm the only one left in my cell. China Coast Guard vessel 
The gang leader, known as Barbecue, has warned that the battle to oust Prime Minister Ariel Henry will continue. He heads an alliance of guns and faces sanctions from the United Nations and the U.S. The U.S. called for its citizens to leave Haiti as soon as possible. After so basically, just like the way that the, the, from their homes how they have been weekend. doing for the, in the past, the US, they're going to home block to over our pathway. Haitians, they're going to stop the embassy will be offering limited operations that while just Canada has temporarily staying there its embassy. so that we can, there's a possibility that uh, for the Philippine Coast Guard to nation collide towards their ramped up during and, uh, Prime Minister right after Henry's this, visit to Kenya a few hours after this. We'll be Kenya and Haiti we'll signed be, an agreement um, to send a, a thousand Kenyan police on a United Nations mission to the gang played nation. At 6 in the morning, and in a three Chinese multi militia vessels, Chinese Coast Guard vessel 21556, triggering a breakout by several Unai thousand one. The attack also claimed the life of at least a dozen people. The jailbreak marked a new low in the spiral of violence. You can see how many Chinese martyr militias are being uh, deployed uh, for, us However, to for them to prevent to the Philippine government run, in advancing to sources, uh, moving it towards a huge overwhelming show. majority. The gangs controlling much of the city have wreaked havoc since Thursday. This comes as a major gang leader seeking to ask Prime Minister Arya Landry. Prime Minister Henry is abroad trying to salvage support this is another uh, video showing um, Chinese maritime militia vessels Haitian gang blocking leader MRB 4409 also known as barbecue, on and Friday also disregarding all waves because uh, this vessel um, did not the um, consider the fact that he is the uh, actually closing the, the bow of Andre MRB 4409 the crisis after the assassination of President Hovenel Moise in 2021 we ask the Haitian National Police and the military At 6 19 in the morning, Chinese Coast Guard vessel conducted close maneuvers towards MRV 4409. Armed groups are not your enemy. You arrest Ariel Henry for the country's liberation. You can just These imagine how we have big this Coast Guard vessel is. Brothers and doing such maneuvers can actually endanger the, the, streets, uh, the safety and the trust of um, the These MRV 4409. are a symbol of freedom. With these weapons, we will liberate the country. And these weapons will change the country. Since President Moise's assassination, there has been a surge in violence. According to the United Nations, in January, more than 8,000 people were shown of gang violence, a while ago by killings, um, kidnappings, and injuries, which is that, double um, the numbers seen in 2020. were also shadowed by Chinese maritime militia and the Chinese Coast Guard vessel. Um, it goes to show that and it's not just the Chinese, co the Philippine Coast Guard that they are blocking, but even the, the supply boats uh, to prevent us from carrying out a successful the supply operation. The attack also the life of at least a dozen people. The jailbreak marked a new low in Haiti's downward spiral of violence and came as At gangs assert the control in the morning, what we have been uh, warning However, the Chinese uh, as to how Coast Guard for so many months already. Run. That they need sources, to it was um, abide the provisions of the, the collision regulations. Much of the city have if not, havoc there is a high possibility that collision incident might happen. Is to and um, in this Minister particular incident, because we have Henry always ensured the seamanship skills of our commanding officers in deploying our vessels in um, Palawan, particularly in carrying out the supply Jimmy operations, Charizia, that he has uh, prevented the impact of collision towards the Chinese Coast Guard 215. Prime, the Prime Minister and according to Jimmy the reason behind ousting the Prime Minister is that Henry led the crisis Here's another video taken from, uh, after the, vessel. the assassination of President you can see that the Philippine Coast Guard Hovenel personnel in are really doing um, so much effort uh, to prevent we ask the, the Haitian collision National towards police the vessel and the military and the to Chinese take responsibility Coast Guard and arrest Ariel Henry. Just standing Once there again, and taking the population video. is not our enemy. So the armed groups are not your enemy. You arrest the Libra for part. the country's they liberation. Don't really care there would These be a weapons collision. that we have are the not here to hurt our brothers who come from the same milieu as us. The poor take the streets and they trust us. These weapons are a symbol of freedom. With these weapons, Around seven in the morning, we will liberate MRV the country. And these weapons will change the country.
You know, for every Coast Guard vessel, our uh, concept of operation is that one Coast Guard will escort one Unaiza main. And based on our experience for the past so many months already, the concept of operation for the Chinese Coast Guard is for them to separate the Philippine Coast Guard vessel from the supply boat. In this particular photo, you can see how they can, um, how, how they corral MRV 4409 for them to separate it from Eliza May. However, it is unclear as to how many inmates were on the run. According to sources, it was likely an overwhelming majority. The gangs controlling much of the city wreaked havoc since Thursday. This comes as a major gang leader is seeking it is to worth ask mentioning that in this time, 750, the Chinese Coast Guard vessel was also successful in separating Unaiza May forward from um, the uh, escort vessel as of uh, Unaiza May. Friday, that he would keep trying to ask the Prime Minister. The According escort vessel Jimmy of uh, right Unaiza May is MRB 4407. You can see from this photo that um, the Chinese uh, maritime forces have been uh, become successful in separating it, deploying as many as uh, two Chinese Coast Guard vessels and four Chinese maritime militia uh, for them to separate this people. Arrest Adrian Henry. Once again, the population is not our enemy. As a result the of that, groups are Oniza not your May, enemy. When um, to arrest Adrian Henry due to her her seamanship skills as well, these weapons she was able to get out of the situation of being trapped by these Chinese Coast Guard vessels. The poor take the so and they trust from there, she managed these to get out of being trapped of freedom. and with these weapons, decided to we will sail the country. on her these way proceeding to the country. Show. Since President Moise's assassination, there has seen, been a huge surge. This in video is very important for us to know because right after she was separated from Unaiza May, kidnappings and that's the time which is double the numbers seen in 2022. That she was already um, completely separated by this Chinese maritime militia. Ongoing gang Even violence doing of escalated dangerous maneuver to in the Caribbean move further Unaiza May from the Philippine Coast Guard vessel. A state of emergency and in the right face after of this, unrest led by gang leader Jimmy Cherry Zier, also known as Barbecue. The gang the escort leaders vessel are of calling for May, the MRB of Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Henry. Is still City wanting to get out of being corralled and trapped by this Chinese Coast Guard that is out only But it was essential. very difficult for uh, MRB 4407. That's why they were separated. <laughs> Since they were separated, the Philippine Ghost Guard is no longer there to, to ensure the security over and safety of Unaiza Bay 4. In the That's place. why she has to was uh, with be subject to water cannoning of these two Chinese Coast Guard after the massive jail Because break. most of the time, our media friends would always ask, if the Philippine Coast Guard the vessel on the airport is being considered has the as duty the to escort the Unaiza May, when the attack where is the place, Philippine Coast Guard vessel during this time? At the moment. Uh, that's why However, I showed the, Army the three previous slides to show that the, the MRB 4407 was completely corrupt and she is no longer situation. Uh, the ability the to maneuver to support the situation requires an uh, Unaiza May 4. To a finalize the multinational security support mission to assist the and um, national police. the water cannoning of uh, 21551 and uh, other Chinese Coast Guard did not stop until 8.50. And besides from the water cannoning, Chinese Coast Guard also did dangerous maneuver that almost had a collision with this uh, Unaiza May tour. As a result of um, the water cannoning, which was already um, um, narrated by uh, the AFP spokesperson, the Philippine Coast Guard vessels, um, MRB 4407, received a radio call from uh, Unaiza May 4 that four of um, the crew have um, been injured. That's why the Philippine Coast Guard launched a rigid hull inflatable boat to go provide medical assistance to those injured personnel. Around 7.52 in the morning, Naiza May 1 was the only successful resupply boat that entered the lagoon to connect the 
it is also worth mentioning that despite of the damage that Unaiza May has, in, has sustained because of the water cannon in the near collision, and they know for a fact that the Unaiza May have also um, injured personnel on board, the Chinese Coast Guard still never hesitated to launch their own rigid hull inflatable boat or their patrol boat coming from 21551 and circle around Unaiza May 4 trying to document as if Let's now head we are to the, the ones doing illegal where activities Where Haiti's government has declared a state of emergency system. after an attack to prisons which led to the jailbreak Around of thousands of inmates. In the morning, this Unaiza development May comes Four as gang leader has named decided Babakin to, uh, has abort the mission, to by Minister uh, proceeding Radio Henry. To show, Schools and banks have been shot to, to the Caribbean Bay. nation. And it was escorted the prison break the comes in a new spate of extreme violence in the Haitian capital, Port-au-Prince. Which is currently At 12 facing a communication in the blackout. afternoon, uh, Unaiza May 1 has imposed already an immediate effect, show, or and, with uh, immediate you can see from the photo, in a bid to they, she was still order. being shadowed a by uh, Chinese maritime throughout the West Territory for a renewable period of 72 At 7, hours. 30 in the, um, I received a bullet here and another a little higher up. I was hit yesterday at 9 p.m. I'm suffering. Oh, we will these are the Chinese the sound of bullets. Of bullets. That the cell barriers are broken, uh, and the only one left in the cell. And dangerous tactics. The gang leader, known as Barbecue, has warned that the battle to oust Prime Minister Ariel Henry will continue. He heads an alliance of guns and faces sanctions from the United Nations and the U.S. The U.S. called for its citizens to leave Haiti as soon as possible after 15,000 residents fled from their homes over the weekend. The U.S., which is home to over a million Haitians, said its embassy will be offering limited operations while Canada has temporarily shut its embassy. Violence in the Caribbean nation ramped up during Prime Minister Henry's visit to Kenya last week. All in Kenya all, and the Haiti Chinese signed an agreement to send 8,000 Kenyan police there were 12 of on a United them Nations and six mission were monitored to the downplayed nation. And five Chinese Coast Guard vessels and uh, three People's Liberation Army Navy and a PCG Hello. That ends my briefing in Malami Salamat. And in a massive upsurge in violence Thank in Haiti, our gangs attacked the next we have the ambassador, prison, triggering a There's breakout by several thousand inmates. The attack also claimed the life of at least a dozen people. The jailbreak marked a new low in Haiti's downward spiral of violence and came as gangs assert greater control in the capital port of Prince. However, it is unclear as to how many inmates were on the run. According to sources, it was likely an overwhelming majority. The gangs controlling much of the city have wreaked havoc since Thursday. This comes as a major gang leader seeking to ask Prime Minister Ariel Laundrie. The Prime Minister Henry is abroad trying to salvage support from the United Nations back security forces to stabilize the country. Haitian gang leader Jimmy Chazier, also known as Barbecue, warned on Friday that he would try and resupply mission to keep to be our peace the Prime Minister out and the according Philippine to Jimmy, the reason behind asking the Prime Minister is that Andre the led the Chinese crisis to foreign affairs. affairs. Caribbean nation Yesterday, after the assassination the of President Elmore in 2020. The department also launched another diplomatic protest against the Chinese side we asked the by summoning the Chinese the uh, embassy also yesterday afternoon. Once again, Ayun the population is, is part not our of enemy. Philippine exclusive economic not zone enemy. and continental shelf. The Philippines has sovereign rights and jurisdiction we have are not over here it. To hurt our as a long-time elevation, the Ayun Shoal can the neither be the, the subject and the and the trust of sovereignty claims, nor is it capable of appropriation under international law. The, the Philippines resupply missions to BRP Sher Madre are part Since of President Moise's assassination, there has been a surge in violence, according to the United Nations, in January. More than 8,400 people were victims of gang violence, well including killings, kidnappings, and injuries, which is double the number seen in 2020. We have not added anything to our normal or routine Rory mission. And a massive upsurge our in violence in Haiti armed gangs attacked the region's largest prison, triggering the a breakout by 7,000 inmates. 
to they implement the leaders' instructions to lessen tensions and have our foreign ministers and foreign ministries hold discussions. China, however, has made references to supposed agreements or arrangements out of these discussions. The, the Philippines has not entered into any agreement. This comes I repeat, as a major gang the Philippines has not entered Prime into Minister any agreement, abandoning its sovereign rights and jurisdiction over its EZ and continental shelf, including in the country. vicinity of Haitian's the Union Shore. China's unlawful exercise of maritime law enforcement in bars, interference with China, Philippine rotation and resupply missions, Jimmy, or any other activity that, that infringes upon Philippine sovereign rights and jurisdiction in the UN shore are violations of international law, particularly the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea. We continue to call we on ask China the Haitian National Police and the military and to take responsibility and arrest the Gabriel Henry. Once again, the population is Philippine not our enemy. The armed groups are not your enemy. We arrest Ariel Henry for the country's liberation. The These weapons that we have are not here to hurt our brothers who come from the same milieu as us. Relations. The poor take the streets and they trust us. These weapons are a symbol of freedom. The With these weapons, and we the will liberate the country the international and order these weapons will change the country. Law. The Department Since of Foreign the Affairs of the Republic of the Philippines remains committed to pursue its standards of protecting and upholding the, the Philippine legal maritime entitlements in the West Philippines. Thank you for your attention. 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 Thank The gangs controlling much of the city wreaked havoc uh, since Thursday. Uh, uh, This Lada, comes as a major gang Department leader is seeking to ask Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Uh, Prime Minister Henry is abroad uh, trying to silence the support for the United Nations and the US are, security are talking, forces to stabilize uh, the country. Haitian uh, gang leader Jimmy Cherizier, also known as Barbecue, warned on Friday that he was trying to ask the Prime, the Prime Minister. According to Jimmy, the Haitian gang asking the Prime Minister. Is that Henry led the, the crisis to the elimination of the assassination the of President Hovenel Moïse in 2021? Um, the statement, the past statements of the State Department has been quite clear that uh, Article 4 of the MDP uh, includes that um, an arm, any attack that extends to the Coast Guard will, will not again, be reached. The population uh, is not our enemy. The armed groups uh, are not your enemy. We arrest Ariel Henry for the country's liberation. But suffice These weapons to say, that we have are not here to hurt our brothers who come from the same milieu the as us. The poor take the, the streets and they trust us. These weapons are a symbol of freedom. So, With these uh, weapons, we will liberate the country and these weapons will change the country. In terms of the second question, Since President Moise's assassination, there has been a huge surge in violence. According to United Nations, in January, more than 8,400 people were killed in the gang violence, including killings, kidnappings, and injuries, which is double the number seen in 2020. United States. And given that it is subject to high-level consultations. We cannot, the National Task Force West Philippines, Ongoing gang cannot, violence have escalated uh, tensions in the Caribbean nation of Haiti. Authorities have imposed a state of emergency in the face of unrest led by gang leader Jimmy Cherry um, Zier, next. also known as Barbecue. What's the, what's, gang what's leaders the are calling the, for the dismissal of Prime Minister Ariel Henry, is there, is there, capital city, or what are the shut down with, a presidents, in terms with of, residents um, that is stepping out only for uh, essentials. Miguel, I'll get back to you on your question as soon as I get more information. On Monday, armed gunmen fight to seize control over Haiti's main international airport in the capital port of Prince. Gunfire was exchanged with police in the latest attack on key government sites after the massive jail raid.
I wanted to know. Uh, and, uh, the attack on the airport is being considered as the biggest in Haiti's history. When the attack took place, the planes were not operating at the moment. However, the army has been deployed, and they have been controlling the premise. After violence escalated this week, the United States yes, said that they were closely monitoring the situation. The State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said that the situation requires an urgency to finalize the multinational security support mission to assist morale and welfare activities. So our troops are stationed in Ayuin Shoals, so we have to give them provisions, and thus our personnel will be part of the crew of uh, the vessels that were involved. Yes, Philippine military. As to the composition of the cruiser, we cannot uh, divulge the uh, for operational purposes. One follow-up question. That's a follow-up to that one. Um, since uh, we have that this Service personnel that have become casualties of Chinese. It's the first time that we have um, minor injuries that were reported uh, during these missions. But um, as I said, we cannot divulge how many are in composition of every crew. Yes, but there was. Um, there was no impending, um, like, th these ones are minor injuries. The ones were temporary blindness that was caused. It depends on the answer. The, um, it wasn't declared as this was a lasting impact on this. I think we have a statement here from Commodore Trinidad. Yes, uh, I have with us uh, Commodore Trinidad who is the spokesperson of the Philippine Navy in terms of issues regarding the West Let's now head to the Caribbean, uh, yes, where Haiti's government has declared a state Navy of emergency injured, after an attack to prison which led to the jailbreak of thousands of so Indians. Far, this development the comes as Gandhi the well named Barbecue has sought to oust by Minister Adrian Henry. Schools and banks for the have been shot in the Caribbean think, nation. I, I believe also for the entire force. The prison break comes in a new spate of extreme violence that was in the Haitian capital, Port-au-Prince, which is currently facing blindness. a communication blackout. The government has imposed an immediate effect, or with immediate effect, in a bid to Next restore we have order. From GMA news. A curfew has been imposed throughout the West Territory okay, for a renewable and period one of 72 question. hours. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, uh, I received the bullet here uh, and another little higher up. Sir, we, I was hit based on the discussions, I'm we know that while all of this was oh, very aggressive we asleep when we uh, maneuvers South by the Chinese, by the Chinese were ongoing. I'm the only sir, one left in my Navy ship the gang leader, known as Barbecue, has warned that the battle to oust the Prime Minister Eno and Eno will continue. As the head of the alliance of guns and faces sanctions from the United Nations and the U.S., the U.S. called for its citizens to leave Britain as soon as possible after 15,000 residents fled from their homes over the weekend. The U.S. This is going to the over a million Haitians, say the embassy will be offering limited on operations while Canada has temporarily shut the its embassy. Of Western Command was aboard on ISM A4. Violence in the Caribbean was nation to supervise, although this was a tactical action, during Prime Minister it could Henry's have strategic implications Kenya last week. So when the stakes are high, Kenya and our Haiti senior commanders have a hands-on approach. To send a thousand Kenyan police on a United Nations mission he had the call to the gang play when to bring in the gray ships or the navy ships. At that point, hindi pa kayo namin, sir. Yes, because he didn't come in, so I surmise that it was his call as being the commander on the ground. Triggering a breakout by several thousand inmates. The attack also claimed the life of at least a dozen people. The jailbreak marked a new low in Haiti's downward spiral violence. The gangs are being in control in the castle of Porto However, it is unclear as to how many inmates were on the run. According to sources, it was likely an overwhelming majority. The gangs controlling much of the city have wreaked havoc since Thursday.
This comes as a major gang leader seeking to ask Prime Minister Ariel Andre. Ambassador, Ambassador Andre is abroad trying to salvage the most of the United Nations back security forces to stabilize the country. Haitian gang leader Jimmy Shazier, also known as Babacu, warned on Friday that he would try and stop the violence in the country. Haitian gang leader Jimmy Shazier, also known as Babacu, warned on Friday that he would try and stop the violence in the country. Haitian gang leader Jimmy Shazier, also known as Babacu, warned on Friday that he would try and stop the violence in the country. Prime Minister, and in light of what happened yesterday, the is this understanding or agreement still on the table? And it's still on the table. What's the rationale for holding on to a policy or agreement that continues to result in, you know, uh, damages to, to Philippine ships and injuries to? The armed groups are not your uh, enemy. You arrest Ariel Henry for the country's liberation. The like These weapons that we have are not here to hurt to our brothers who come from the Shanghai same milieu as us. The poor out. take and the streets and they trust us. These weapons the are a symbol of freedom. With these weapons, will we will liberate the country. And these weapons will change the country. The and continental shelf, including a Since union Since President Moise's assassination, There's there has been a surge no in violence. According to the United Nations, in January, more than 8,400 people were the victims of gang violence, including killings, kidnappings, and injuries, so this which is double the numbers seen in 2022. That we've made promises, and that we've broken promises, we've entered arrangements, and that we've actually are not following into certain agreements. There's so a massive upsurge in violence in Haiti, armed gangs attacked the region's largest prison, triggering a breakout by several thousand but what they may be they have also claimed the life of a dozen people. The jailbreak marked a new low in Haiti's downward spiral of violence and came as gangs assert greater control of the capital of Port au However, it is unclear as to how many inmates were on the run. According to sources, it was likely an overwhelming majority. The gangs controlling much of the city have wreaked havoc since Thursday. This comes as a major gang leader is seeking to oust Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Prime Minister Henry is abroad trying to salvage support for a United Nations-backed security force to stabilize the country. Haitian's gang leader Jimmy Chirizia, also known as Barbecue, warned on Friday that he would keep trying to oust Prime, the Prime Minister. And according to Jimmy, the reason behind ousting the Prime Minister is that Henry led the crisis of the nation after the assassination of President in the South China Sea. So, in terms of your latter question, I think it becomes more important, at least from our perspective, we ask the Haitian National Police and the military to take responsibility and arrest Ariel Henry. Once again, the population is not our enemy. The armed groups are not your enemy. You arrest Ariel Henry for the country's liberation. These weapons that we have are not here to hurt our brothers who come from the same milieu as us. The poor take the streets and they trust us. These weapons are a symbol of freedom. With these these weapons, we will liberate the country, and these weapons will change the country. Since the president's assassination, there has been a surge in violence. According to the United Nations, in January, more than 8,400 people were the victims of gang violence. Admiral Carlos, a senior Navy official, was in U.N. Forum, Haiti, 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 Ha
this is a military it's a labor and a military practice for our commanders to lead from the front not only are you increasing the morale of the men but you would like to be assured that in case of any untoward incident it will not spiral out of control since president Moise's assassination there has been a huge surge in violence according to the national cbn let me just add a violence including killings kidnappings and injuries which is double the number both sides have mentioned that they want to escalate tensions uh, but unfortunately, we were also surprised about Ongoing what happened gang there. violence have escalated uh, tensions yesterday. in the Caribbean uh, nation of Haiti. We Authorities have imposed already. a state of emergency so in the really face of unrest the led by gang leader Jimmy Cherizier, also known as Barbecue. Uh, the gang leaders they they are calling the for the dismissal of Prime Minister Ariel Henry. The capital city has been shut down with residents that is stepping out only for essential. But we need to see this at this words translated into actions on the ground. But this of course will not stop the Philippines from continuing engaging with China. As the president has said repeatedly, even in the face of aggression. On Monday, and armed gunmen tried we'll to have seize to engage control and over Haiti's main to international PRC. airport no? so in the capital for the prince. Our far was exchanged with desire is to keep engaging with them, but if China desires some improvement or progress in resolving this maritime dispute the in attack a on the airport is being considered matter, as the we demand that they match their words with the attack took place, the planes were not operating at the moment. However, the army sir, has sir. been deployed and they sir, have been we are already on our second year of After violence escalated this week, the United States said that they are closely monitoring the situation. The State the Department's spokesperson Matthew Miller said that the situation the requires an urgency but, but to finalize the multinational security support mission to assist the country's national forces. Well, Bianca, first of all, we don't call it uh, assertive transparency. That's what with um, ADG Malayas keep on mentioning. We don't have to be very assertive for us to be transparent. What we're doing is that we're just, we just have a measured transparency. Um, now, if your question is, are we effective in um, attaining our objectives with the transparency strategy that we uh, did launch uh, since last year? I think for us to tips of the transparency strategy. Um, I've been mentioning this a lot of times. The first one is for us to create awareness of the Filipino people. Right now, with the current survey result, they were saying that more than 70% now supports the approach of the Philippine government in um, the West Philippine Sea. The second is second objective of the transparency strategy is to uh, rally support from the international community. We can know for a fact that more countries now are engaging our country, um, criticizing, condemning provocative actions of China, and also expressing their commitment to support the modernization of the armed forces of the Philippines, to uh, deepening the defense cooperation that we have. So, if we're going to measure it, how effective we are now, I think we have already gained the objectives, achieved the objectives, and accomplished it well. But if you're going to ask how the transparency strategy to the affect the behavior of China, has I think a state of that is not for us to answer. To prisons, Definitely, to nobody can really say that whatever strategy you're going to carry out, whether they're diplomatic, whether you talk to them, or whatever, they would always choose to do schools and banks provocative actions in the West Philippines. But we are hoping that with the international community's criticism and condemnation of their illegal acts and provocative behavior, we can be able to make China modify their behavior and choose to um, abide with international law and uh, ensure the status quo and maintain the global order that we are all enjoying. I received a bullet here and another little higher up. I was hit yesterday at 9 p.m. I'm sorry. The sound
We were asleep when we heard the sound of bullets. The cell barriers are broken. I'm the only one left in my cell. The gang leader, known as Barbecue, has warned that the battle to oust Prime Minister Ariel Henry will continue. He heads an alliance of guns and faces sanctions from the United Nations and the U.S. The U.S. called for its citizens to leave Haiti as soon as possible after 15,000 residents fled from their homes over the weekend. The U.S., which is home to over a million Haitians, said its embassy will be offering limited operations while Canada has temporarily shut its embassy. Violence in the Caribbean nation ramped up during Prime Minister Henry's visit to Kenya last week. Kenya and Haiti signed an agreement to send a thousand Kenyan police on a United Nations mission to the gang played nation. China's 9-9 has no legal basis. China claims the entire and South China Sea in the high seas in China armed gangs attack sneakers. the region's largest prison, triggering a breakout by several thousand people. The attack also claimed the life of at least a dozen people. The, the jailbreak marked a new low in Haiti's downward spiral of violence and came as gangs assert greater control in the capital so port of However, it is unclear as to how many inmates were on the run. Countries. According countries to sources, it was likely an the rules based majority. international is something the gangs that we controlling much of the city apply. have wreaked havoc since Thursday. This comes as a major gang leader seeking to ask Prime Minister Ariel Lange. Prime Minister Henry is abroad trying to salvage support for a United Nations black security force to stabilize the country. Haitian gang leader Jimmy Chazier, also known as Barbecue, warned on Friday that he would try to keep it concerns other the Prime countries Minister because out, it's already and a according to Jimmy, the reason behind ousting the Prime Minister is that Andre led the crisis for a Caribbean nation after the assassination of President Governor Moise in 2021. We asked the Haitian National Police and the military to take responsibility. Hello, for my question, may the AFP can Once answer. Again, the regarding the post the U.S. as mobile, the LCS are not your enemy. Do they have any role, Bupa, on the recent Rory mission? Because nakita daw po yung U.S. SAB ship last Monday near the vicinity of Savannah Road. Last Monday near the vicinity of Savannah Road. Last Monday near the vicinity of the poor take the streets. Um, we have to take into us. consideration that these this happened in the Philippine territory with these weapons. So they are we actually, the these are open waters. These weapons so change they the are exercising their uh, right Since towards uh, freedom, freedom of navigation. There's been a so surge in violence their presence there the United Nations could, uh, January, more than 8, could mean that they were there uh, for any reason that they were necessary for them. Which is double the numbers seen in 2022. Up next we have from IBC News. And a massive upsurge in violence in Haiti after the gang's attack, the region's largest prison was triggered in the breakout by several thousand inmates. The attack also claimed the life of at least a dozen people. The jailbreak marked a new low in Haiti's downward spiral of violence and came as gangs assert greater control in the capital of the region. The attack also claimed the life of at least a dozen people. The jailbreak marked a new low in Haiti's downward spiral of violence and came as gangs assert greater control in the region. They the quote Philippines as the one who was defined for bird border uh, by peace and sinabili po nila on their bird. The Philippines arbitrarily went beyond, beyond its territorial scope to set up a so-called Kalayan Island group, which has violated China's territorial sovereignty. So very clear, this is illegal, null, and void. Ano pong reaction natin sa Philippines nilang pagsasabi na null and void ng ating 2016 claim na nangyong tayo sa ating And according to Jimmy, the reason behind ousting uh, the Prime Minister is that Henry you know, led the crisis that Caribbean nation after the assassination of President Governor Moise in 2021. We asked the Haitian National Police and the military to take responsibility and arrest Ariel Henry. Once again, the population is not our enemy. The armed groups are not your enemy. You arrest Ariel Henry for the country's liberation. These weapons that we have are not here to hurt our brothers who come from the same milieu as us. Uh, the poor they take the streets it, uh, and they trust us. Award, uh, these weapons are a symbol of freedom. With these weapons, rights. we will liberate the country. And these weapons will change the country. 
but the award has already debunked the the claim based on historic prices both illegal and void. They tend to say because they did not participate and they and, and because and because of that then there's no basis in terms of the award. But clearly they were given the opportunity and the, and the arbitral award also made mention that they uh, in any dispute, for example, I'll state here, it's provided in Article 9 of the Annex 2, which provides that if one party to the dispute does not appear before the arbitral award or fails to defend its case, the However, other it party is unclear made a request to try to continue the proceeding and make its award, which is what, is what the Philippines did. The, the absence of a party or failure of party to defend its case shall not constitute a bar to the proceedings, which is exactly what happened. Before making its award, the arbitral tribunal may be satisfied that it had jurisdiction over the dispute gang leader, and that Jimmy the claim is Therese, not founded in fact in law. And then they say that, the of course, minister. they own the entire According area, the reason, that, uh, the that the fishing activities, that really like the Chinese fishing boats and motors, what they're the doing in terms of, of uh, regulations and enforcement, are legitimate and lawful and beyond reproach. But we're saying that would be legitimate if they were in their EEZ. But they're not in the EEZ. They're a big distance away from the EEZ. They're actually, they are in our EEZ. And because of that, it is us who will determine what we will do in our EEZ. Is it not? So there are many narratives that come out. And, 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 and it's important for all of us in the Philippines, from government to the, to the private sector and to the media, to actually question the narratives that are being posted on us, these weapons, erased, and actually repeated in the hope that it will Support. Change the country. Since President Moise's assassination, there has been One a follow -up huge surge. Following that up, uh, in the words of former Justice Carpio, um, in relevance na po sa disinformation na pinip na ginagamit ng China against us, sinabi niya na the only choice we have, uh, we have the support of the world because we have the arbit arbitral award. If we can convince our allies to lobby for us, specifically in you, then China should be condemned strongly. Uh, uh, statement lang ito natin. Authorities have imposed a state of emergency in the face of unrest led by gang leader Jimmy. We are working very hard. We are working very hard uh, to seek the support of the international community. Kanina it was asked, uh, um, Capital is, City has uh, been shut down with the president's just our president's strategy in uh, resolving this problem. No, it's not. Just the transparency policy is just one aspect of what we do. And we, we thank the international community, particularly the, uh, the, the countries that have spoken in favor of the Philippines. Uh, but there are other countries that we also need to talk to and seek their support. And On Monday, that is precisely what the government is doing right now. Over uh, through the transparency policy, we are showing to the whole world France. what's happening. Gun fire was exchanged with police in the latest attack on key government sites after the massive jailbreak. The attack on the airport is being considered as the biggest in Haiti's history. When the attack took place, the planes were not operating at the moment. However, the army has been deployed and they have been patrolling the premise. After violence escalated this week, the United States said that they are closely monitoring the situation. The State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said that the situation requires an urgency to uh, finalize the multinational security support mission to assist the country's national police.
Let's now head to the Caribbean, where Haiti's government has declared a state of emergency after an attack to prisons which led to the jailbreak of thousands of inmates. This development comes as gang leader named Barbecue has sought to oust Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Schools and banks have been shut in the Caribbean nation. The prison break comes in a new spate of extreme violence in the Haitian capital, Port-au-Prince, which is currently facing a communication blackout. The government has imposed an immediate effect, or with immediate effect, in a bid to restore order. A curfew has been imposed throughout the West Territory for a renewable period of 72 hours. I received a bullet here and another a little higher up. I was hit yesterday at 9 p.m. I'm suffering. Oh. We were asleep when we heard the sound of bullets. The cell barriers are broken. I'm the only one left in my cell. The gang leader, known as Barbecue, has warned that the battle to oust Prime Minister Ariel Henry will continue. He heads an alliance of gangs and faces sanctions from the United Nations and the U.S. The U.S. called for its citizens to leave Haiti as soon as possible, after 15,000 residents fled from their homes over the weekend. The U.S., which is home to over a million Haitians, said its embassy would be offering limited operations while Canada has temporarily shut its embassy. Violence in the Caribbean nation ramped up during Prime Minister Henry's visit to Kenya last week. Kenya and Haiti signed an agreement to send a thousand Kenyan police on a United Nations mission to the gang-played nation. And in a massive upsurge in violence in Haiti, armed gangs attacked the region's largest prison, triggering a breakout by several thousand inmates. The attack also claimed the life of at least a dozen people. The jailbreak marked the new low in Haiti's downward spiral of violence and came as gangs asserted greater control in the capital port of Prince. However, it is unclear as to how many inmates were on the run. According to sources, it was likely an overwhelming majority. The gangs controlling much of the city have been targets since Thursday. This comes as a major gang leader seeking to ask Prime Minister Ariel Andre. Prime Henry is abroad trying to salvage support for a United Nations-backed security force to stabilize the country. Haitian gang leader Jimmy Chazier, also known as Barbecue, warned on Friday that he would try to the Prime Minister and find a way to Jimmy the reason behind asking the Prime Minister if that Andre led the crisis for the nation after the assassination of President Hovenel Moise in 2021. We ask the Haitian National Police and the military to take responsibility and arrest the Once again, the population is not our enemy. The armed groups are not your enemy. You arrest Ariel Henry for the country's liberation. These weapons that we have are not here to hurt our brothers who come from the same milieu as us. The poor take the streets and they trust us. These weapons are a symbol of freedom. With these weapons, we will liberate the country. And these weapons will change the country. Since President Moise's assassination, there has been a surge in violence. According to the United Nations, in January, more than 8,500 people were the victims of gang violence, including killings, kidnappings and injuries, which is double the numbers seen in 2022. In a massive upsurge in violence in Haiti, armed gangs attacked the region's largest prison, triggering a breakout by several thousand inmates. The attack also claimed the life of at least a dozen people. The jailbreak marked a new low in Haiti's downward spiral of violence and came as gangs asserted greater control in the capital of Puerto Rico. However, it is unclear as to how many inmates were on the run. According to sources, it was likely an overwhelming majority. The gangs controlling much of the city have wreaked havoc since Thursday. This comes as a major gang leader is seeking to oust Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Prime Minister Henry is abroad trying to salvage support for a United Nations-backed security force to stabilize the country. 
Christian's gang leader, Jimmy Cherise, also known as Barbecue, warned on Friday that he would keep trying to outstrike the Prime Minister. And according to Jimmy, the reason behind ousting the Prime Minister is that Henry led the crisis that Caribbean nation after the assassination of President Hovenel Moise in 2021. We ask the Haitian National Police and the military to take responsibility and arrest Ariel Henry. Once again, the population is not our enemy. The armed groups are not your enemy. You arrest Ariel Henry for the country's liberation. These weapons that we have are not here to hurt our brothers who come from the same milieu as us. The poor take the streets and they trust us. These weapons are our symbol of freedom. With these weapons, we will liberate the country and these weapons will change the country. Since the president's assassination, there has been a surge in violence. According to the United Nations, in January, more than 8,400 people were the victims of gang violence, including killing, kidnappings and injuries, which has doubled the number seen in 2022. Massive upsurge in violence in Haiti, armed gangs attacked the region's largest prison, triggering a breakout by several thousand inmates. The attack also claimed the life of at least a dozen people. The jailbreak marked a new low in Haiti's downward spiral of violence and came as gangs assert greater control of the capital. However, it is unclear as to how many inmates were on the run. According to sources, it was likely an overwhelming majority. The gangs controlling much of the city wreaked havoc since Thursday. This comes as a major gang leader is seeking to ask Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Prime Minister Henry is abroad trying to salvage support for a United Nations back security force to stabilize the country. Haitian gang leader Jimmy Cherezia, also known as Barbecue, warned on Friday that he would keep trying to ask the Prime Minister. According to Jimmy, the reason behind asking the Prime Minister is that Henry led the crisis to the Caribbean nation after the assassination of President Ovenel Moise in 2021. Once again, the population is not our enemy. The armed groups are not your enemy. You arrest Ariel Henry for the country's liberation. These weapons that we have are not here to hurt our brothers who come from the same milieu as us. The poor take the streets and they trust us. These weapons are a symbol of freedom. With these weapons, we will liberate the country and these weapons will change the country. Since President Moise's assassination, there has been a huge surge in violence. According to the United Nations, in January, more than 8,400 people were victims of gang violence, including killings, kidnappings, and injuries, which is double the number seen in 2022. Ongoing gang violence have escalated attentions in the Caribbean nation of Haiti. Authorities have imposed a state of emergency in the face of unrest led by gang leader Jimmy Cherry Zier, also known as Barbecue. The gang leaders are calling for the dismissal of Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Capital City has been shut down with the residents, with residents that is standing out only for essentials. On Monday, armed gunmen tried to seize control over Haiti's main international airport in the capital for the Prince. Gunfire was exchanged with police in the latest attack on key government sites after the massive jailbreak. The attack on the airport is being considered as the biggest in Haiti's history. When the attack took place, the planes were not operating at the moment. However, the army has been deployed and they have been patrolling the premise. After violence escalated this week, the United States said that they were closely monitoring the situation. The State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said that the situation requires an urgency to finalize the multinational security support mission. 
Commission to assist the country's national police. Let's now head to the Caribbean, where Haiti's government has declared a state of emergency after an attack to prisons which led to the jailbreak of thousands of inmates. This development comes as gang leader named Barbecue has sought to oust by Minister Ariel Henry. Schools and banks have been shot in the Caribbean nation. The prison break comes in a new spate of extreme violence in the Haitian capital, Port-au-Prince which is currently facing a communication blackout. The government has imposed an immediate effect, uh, with immediate effect, in a bid to restore order. Makassi has been imposed throughout the West Territory for a renewable period of 72 hours. I received a bullet here and another a little higher up. I was hit yesterday at 9 p.m. I'm suffering. We were asleep when we heard the sound of bullets. The cell line was a broken and the only one left on my cell. The gang leader, known as Barbecue, has no 